So it says read the numbers and decide what no the, the next number should be. Okay. So you have a pattern some sort. So you can think of it as a sequence, series and sequences. You have one, three, four, seven, eleven, eighteen, and twenty-nine. So it says uh, decide what number come next. So when we look at these ones here, we can actually show, we can look to see if it's algebraic or, ge or geometric, right? We can see if it's a recursive sequence and whatnot. So let's look at, uh, let's look at this problem and uh, maybe I'll, I'll pause here and think about, um, think about what kind of sequence can you see in terms of uh, these, can it be an arithmetic sequence or a geometric sequence? What do you think uh, this sequence would be? So let's take a moment and think about this problem here. I have one, three, four, seven, eleven. 18 and 29. So let's see. Let me see if I can find some patterns here. So I have one and three and then four, right? So I know four is a, pro a, a sum of three and one here. So four here is a sum of the previous two numbers, which is just three plus one, right? So that's equals four. And seven here is a product of the previous two numbers, which is four plus three. Right? So I can kind of start to see a pattern here. 11 here is 4 and 7. It's a product of 4 and 7. Oh, sorry, the sum of 4 and 7. And the 18 is a, is a sum of 11 plus 7. And then 29 is a sum of 11 plus 18. So which means the next one, next pattern, in this case, the next number here of x. So x would equal simply just the sum of the previous two numbers, right? So it would be 18 plus 29, which would equal, this is, 47 here is my correct answer so let's see what they did here they did here therefore the next uh, term sequence again they see they actually give the nth the nth term is given equal to the sum of n minus 1 nth and n minus 2 nth term right so basically it's saying that um, this x here the sum of these two numbers can be algebraically visualized by um, <clears throat> the nth term which is um, whatever this term is so you can say it's the n minus 1 or the n minus one one-th term plus the sum of n minus nth term, right? So in this case, um, the nth term is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? So this here, the eighth term, the eighth term equals the, um, the seventh term plus the sixth term, right? Eight minus two is six, eight minus one here is seven, right? So this here is the sum of these two numbers. So if you asked me, if you asked me, okay, what is the, what is the uh, 100th term in this case? So let's say if X, X of the 100th term would be simply just the 99th term minus, plus the 98th term, right? So that's what we know from this problem here. It depends, the sequence depends on the previous two numbers. So that's this here is our sequence here. So this here is great solution and analysis. Solution here is correct.